of the sailor. Once upon a time, in Baghdad, Sinbad the sailor began telling the story of his voyages to Sinbad the Hamal. On the second day of this storytelling, he made sure his guests were well fed first. He began, After I returned, I regained all my wealth and luxuries I had before my voyage. But after a point, I was not happy with my life and missed the sea and its breeze. So, I decided to go on another voyage. We left for Basara, the land where all things come together. Eventually, we came to a beautiful island. After the captain threw the anchor, all the sailors and passengers left to feel the golden sand of the beach. We set up tents and cooked our meals there. Suddenly the captain rang the bell and asked us to run for our lives. The ground below us began to shake. I saw something rise. It's a whale, I screamed. I saw many sailors sucked in by the whirlpool. I tried to rescue them, but I couldn't. With great difficulty, I swam away. I found a barrel and held onto it tightly. I was tired, and I fell asleep on the barrel. The next morning, I woke up and found myself on a strange land. I thought of surveying the island, I would surely find something. I climbed up a tall tree and looked as far as I could see. I saw a strange looking dome, and ran to inspect as closely. I reached the dome and tried to find a door. But I realized, more than a dome, it looked like an eggshell. I gave up and sat beside it. Towards the evening, the sky became dark and a giant bird was descending towards the egg. I decided to tie myself to the bird's claw because I was willing to do anything to get away from that island. But that decision proved to be one of the worst decisions. When the bird flew the next day, it took me to a place with caves, no trees. I untied myself. On either side of the walls of the cave, were serpents that could eat an elephant in one gulp. Luckily, I was able to stay away from their mouth. Suddenly, I found huge pieces of meat falling from the sky. I remembered a tale where merchants would throw meat into a valley, fabled to be the richest valley because they thought diamonds would stick to them. Then they would wait for the bird to pick them up and net them to its nest. I filled my pockets with diamonds and tied myself to a piece of meat. Then I lay down and waited for the bird. A bird picked me up and took me to its nest. Then I waited for the other merchants to come and scare the bird away. The merchants were surprised to see me, but I promised to share my riches with them. Then we climbed down the tree and came to a clearing, where I told them of my adventures. They returned me safely to Baghdad on their ship. I promised myself never to sail in the sea again, but if only I kept my promise. Sinbad the sailor gave Sinbad the Hamel a hundred gold pieces and invited him to come again the next day for another story. Moral of the story. Believe in your strength good luck and fortune, and it will save you from your struggles and hardships.